Welcome back to Headlines Now. B.S. Yedirapa appears determined to prove that he can bring down the BJP government in Karnataka or give it his best shot anyway. Nine ministers, all loyal to Yedirapa, have given their resignations to Chief Minister Sadanand Gowda, which is yet to be accepted. Yedirapa was forced to quit as Chief Minister last year after a report by the state's ombudsman indicting him for corruption. He picked Gowda as his successor, but lately their relationship has soured with the protege refusing to oblige his one-time mentor by stepping down. Ministers, we have tender resignation to CM Sadan Gunda and we have pressed to accept it. This is because for the last three, four months, there has been uh, no real working arrangement between the chief minister and few ministers and uh, there is a lot of complaints of our MLAs regarding their uh, constituencies and there are so many other issues which are already under the domain of high command and since no action has been taken, we are forced to precipitate this action through a resignation and we have given the resignation to the Honorable CM. Moving on, India has repeated its assertion that Jindal's information establishes that the 26-11 attacks were made possible because of some state support in Pakistan. Terming Abu Jindal as a key operative who will help in joining missing pieces in the 26-11 conspiracy, the government said that his interrogation had clearly established now that a controlled room had been set which had some kind of state support. But it's quite clear that Abu Jindal was a key operative. He was assigned the key responsibility of putting the 10 selected cadres through intensive training in Hindi and the customs followed by Mumbaikers. He was perhaps the key person who briefed the 10 cadres, including Kasab, and he had an important role to play in the control room. His interrogation is now established beyond doubt that there was a control room, that uh, besides him there were several persons present in the control room, and that the control room had clearly some kind of state support. Responding to Pakistani Interior Minister Rahman Malik's statement that Jindal is an Indian and was caught in India, the Home Minister agreed with him but said that it is also a fact that Jindal went to Pakistan and trained the group which executed the Mumbai terror attacks. Abu Jindal is an Indian. Abu Jindal was perhaps radicalized in India. So I admit that. Equally, I think Pakistan should admit that Abu Jindal did go to Pakistan, that Abu Jindal was part of the group which trained and prepared Kasab and nine others, that Abu Jindal was in the control room among one of the handlers and masterminds of the attack. So just as we admit facts, Pakistan should also admit facts. They gave a passport to Abu Jindal. They should also admit the fact that uh, they gave two identity cards to Abu Jindal. They should also admit the fact that they claimed that Abu Jindal was a Pakistani with the Saudis. Abu Jindal, the 2611 handler man who helped Kasab and other terrorists, is found to be revealing more and more information during interrogation. His questioning has revealed that he used social networking sites to recruit new operatives. Jindal used social networking to recruit bombers for the Lashkar. He had nine Facebook and email accounts. Jindal used the accounts for terror scouting in Saudi Arabia and India. During interrogation, Jindal has also revealed that post 2611 operations, headquarters of Lashkar was shifted to Dubai near POK from Muzaffarabad. And that after Lakhvi's arrest, Muzamil was taking calls as chief of the terror outfit. In another scene, the Punjab Assembly welcomed the release of Surjit Singh, who returned home yesterday after spending 31 years in a Pakistan jail, and urged the centre to take steps to secure the release of Sarabjit Singh, languishing in Lahore jail for the last 20 years. The resolution, seconded by the Leader of Opposition Sunil Jakar of the Congress, welcomed the steps taken to improve the Indo-Pak relations, which would benefit the people of the state. Meanwhile, Congress member Rana Gurmeet Singh Sodhi said, 
that the financial condition of Surjit Singh is bad and that he should be helped by the state government. I thank you very much for my husband and all of the cabinet who have sent this request to this time and I hope that it will be done on it. Our government will also be able to do it and Pakistan will also be able to do it on the four sides of Pakistan. So we will have to do it on it. Actor Salman Khan has also joined the chorus to free Sarabjit. He tweeted that he is a good friend. And I quote, requesting the people of Pakistan to support me to help free Sarabjit, who has been in prison since 30 years. Saw a picture of Sarabjit's sister, it killed me. Felt real sad for her, help me to help her. Moving on, Chief Economic Advisor at the Finance Ministry, Kaushik Basu, has said that he hopes the economy will bounce back in three or four months. He reasoned that calculations indicated an improvement in the economic situation from October this year. He admitted that there was an element of trust problems between industry and government, but said that it was being worked on. Basu had controversially said at a meeting in the US in April this year that major economic reforms in India were unlikely to happen before the next parliamentary elections slated for 2014. I don't think that uh, because of the reorganization you're going to see uh, a boost. But there are strengths in the economy, which we have been working to capitalize on. Again, as I said, that over the last six months, actually, we've been working a lot behind the scenes to capitalize on that. It's true that we are all hopeful that the economy is going to bounce back within four or five months. I mean, it's October. As I said, that before that, uh, I can't realistically say that there will be an improvement, but October onwards. And we want to work hand in hand with industry. There is an element of trust problem between industry and uh, government that has happened. But over the last several months, we were trying to correct it, and we will continue to correct this as much as possible in the coming months. It is uh, very strange that economic advisor, uh, Mr. Basu, goes on speaking such uh, things. Actually, the Congress-led UPA2 government has betrayed the people and the nation by pursuing disastrous neoliberal economic policies. The Congress-led UPA2 government has completely failed to control the prices to contain inflation. And Congress-led UPA2 government should be held responsible for uh, such a bad uh, uh, economic situation today we have in this country. The 30 share BSE Sensex soared to the highest point of the day on sustained buying interest supported by global queues and a turnaround in domestic sentiments. The Sensex and Nifty traded with over 2% gains and were the top gainers among Asian markets. European stocks maintained morning gains on the back of the agreement to use the continent's permanent bailout fund to recapitalize struggling banks. On to the Air India pilot strike, the standoff between the Air India management and the striking pilots continues to intensify with the pilots' hunger strike entering day 6. As the health of the pilots deteriorated with no end to the stalemate in sight, pilots' families have written to the Prime Minister Ran Sonia Gandhi to intervene. The development comes a day after the pilots' families were anxious over the worsening health conditions of the pilots, who are on a protest fast for the past five days met Air India CNB Rohit Nandan today and asked him to take steps to break the impasse. I have heard that they have not eaten anything. And what is the whole family is frustrated, the kids are frustrated, the second school is also open. Strike is not a salary, it is not a salary before. And the government, the minister is going to London. So the issue is not solved, the people who want to get the issue solved. They have also got the parents to meet with the CMD. There is also a big deal. There are two people. का बीपी जो है बहुत कुछ लोगों का ज्यादा जा रहा है और कुछ लोगों का लो हो रहा है मतलब गोइंग बिलो देन नॉर्मल एंड कुछ लोगों की पल्स जो है इंक्रीज हो रही है मींस दे आर वीक दे आर गोइंग टू अर्जेंट क्रिटिकल कंडीशन इसमें मिस्टर अंशित भरतवाज मनीष in a major crackdown, at least 22 Maoists were killed in two separate encounters with central security forces in Chhattisgarh. The bodies of 16 Maoists were found. Two of them, who sustained injuries, were also captured. The first encounter, which took place at Basagoda, began at around 12.30 a.m. and ended early this morning. 
two teams of the Central Reserve Police Force launched the operation against the Naxals from two different directions. Six CRPF Jawans, including two Cobra Commandos, sustained bullet injuries, two of them being critical. They were airlifted to state capital Raipur for medical aid. The arrested Maoists too were taken to Raipur. The operation is being considered a huge success for security forces given the high casualty figure of the Maoists. This was a planned operation by the CRPF and the state police based on information. And the CRPF was subjected to very heavy fire. And our estimate is maybe there were 45 armed cadres on the side of the adversary. CRPF and state police forces returned the fire. The initial casualties were on the side of the CRPF. Six CRPF personnel suffered serious bullet injuries, of whom two are still very critical. Sixteen bodies have been recovered from the location, and we think that of the three, of the two who died in the encounter and one who died on the way to the hospital, these three are important local leaders of the Naxals. We did suggest to Chhattisgarh government to, to withhold armed action on both the sides. And uh, we have also been uh, insisting that uh, they have to address the basic problems of the Basar tribals and uh, not the Maoist movement is only a manifestation of the deeper uh, crisis of the Basar. The ba Basar, which was otherwise peaceful, uh, and a Bastar which is with full of resources and Bastar tribals are very innocent tribals and they have been uh, giving their own life and we made deep inroads and we are interested only in the mineral wealth of the Chhattisgarh and not the tribals. Uh, we want to uproot them and then uh, rob the you know mineral wealth. In fact, we did uh, mention this to Raman Singh that uh, why he is allowing multinational corporations and corporate world to recklessly mine the resources in Chhattisgarh. In another scene, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh met Foreign Minister of Afghanistan and his delegation in New Delhi, giving a major boost to the bilateral trade and political relations between the two countries. India urged its vast private sector to invest in Afghanistan as a low-tariff destination, saying that it could help stabilize the country as Western nations begin to pull back troops after nearly 11 years of support. On to the monsoons, while deficient in North and South India, it has been raining incessantly in Assam. The Brahmaputra and its tributaries are flowing over, above the danger mark, breaching embankments at several places, affecting almost 4 lakh people across 19 districts of the state. 22 people have died in the flood havoc, including a 7-year-old child, and 14 have been buried in landslides. National highways in many places are underwater, and the railway line connecting to South Assam in Barakwali has been cut off. National parks and wildlife sanctuaries are inundated, and animals have escaped to the highlands. The Prime Minister has announced ex gratia for the victims and have asked the army to be on high alert, extending all central assistance. We have given 16 teams. They are working there. We have given helicopters. I have also been in touch with the Chief Secretary. I have told the Chief Secretary that anything more, any additional assistance which he wants, uh, will be given. It's another short break on headlines now. Stay tuned to the other end.